Hi, David Gerard. I'm in southeast Kansas in West Mineral, visiting. Okay, it was uh, brought in about 1962, started, started in the building in 1962, it was about 13 miles uh, southwest of here, and uh, it took about a year to build, I think it was over 100 railroad cars or parts, and uh, when it was built, I think it weighed around 6,000 ton, that was uh, ballast at all, and it operated for uh, 11 years. It ended up right here. Left it. They didn't move it after after no, no. finished. And like I like to tell people, it's hard to tell how much dirt was moved. But if you would dig straight east from here, uh, for 11 years, operating at 70% uh, efficiency, most of that was 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And we dug a pit 120 foot wide average 40 foot deep, you would have a, a channel from here to the Mississippi River. Oh my. So wouldn't that be nice, you could get off the Mississippi, take the channel up to West Mineral, Kansas. <laughs> <laughs> so you say you actually worked on Big Brutus? I was an electrician. On electrician. And One of many, there were several. So what did they just hook a, a big cable into a power line? Yeah, yeah you can see a sample of right. the cable in there. So it didn't hook right into the power line. You come in on the power line from the power plant at 69,000 volts, I think it was 70, 69, 72,000, something like that. And it was transformed down to 6,900 volts. I think at one time we had five miles of cable. I'm not real sure on the exact footage we had, but I think it was around five miles of cable, power cable. And how fast would the uh, machine move when you had to move it? It from didn't place move to... very fast, but it didn't need to move very fast. It would move, move up, uh, move, I, I think that must have been about 35 feet, and then dig it out, and then move up to 35 feet. So how many miles did it travel in its lifetime? Uh, from uh, point A to point B, probably 12, 13 miles, but back and forth, it would be hundreds of miles. I see. Like, like I showed you in that demonstration pit, you know, it's back and forth. Uh, for example, if you had a square mile to dig, you'd dig 120 foot wide that way, a mile, and then turn around 120 foot Come wide back, back that way, and you'd cover several miles of way, so. And where did the coal go? Where did they use it? Uh, utilities, mainly. And then they stopped because it was it high in sulfur, like the. Uh... It was high in sulfur, but I don't think that was a reason. I think the reason uh, they shut down, they had bid long-term contracts for X amount of dollars. I think it was around six dollars and something a ton, if I remember correctly. Oh, so then it wasn't and enough then money. And then inflation went on, and as the years went by, they they went back to the company and said, "We got to have a raise." They said, no, we got you right here. And they couldn't produce it for that price. And how many years did you work uh, with the company? 39 years in the, in the coal companies. I worked for this company and Peabody Coal Company too. No. Yeah. Scrapers and uh, dozers take off the topsoil. And then uh, after they've done that, the drillers would come in drill holes and blast. Then the shovel comes in, removes the topsoil, or removes the dirt and rock, and then uh, come behind the, the shovel, load the coal in the big trucks, and then he moves over to the next pit. After that, coal has been taken out and throws the dirt in, and then when it's all over, they level the whole thing over, put the topsoil back on, and. 